Okay, hello, hi, this is Rani Ahmed video, and in this video, I'm going to sh uh, show you how to uh, use the uh, binocular viewer, which is uh, this item, okay, uh, on a uh, Newtonian uh, reflector telescope, okay? Now, uh, maybe you would be wondering why I'm talking about this, okay? And uh, the reason is that uh, uh, and I think you would be like to think, oh, I just put it and uh, insert it into the eyepiece shaft and it should work, okay? But no, it won't work on uh, Newtonian telescopes. So I'm going to show you the reason. I'm going to prove it to you and how to make it work. And uh, this is supposed to run on uh, Schmidt-Cassegrain uh, and a reflect a refractor with R, okay? The refractor uh, telescopes, okay? It does not work on... Uh, the Newtonian telescopes by its own, like this, because just by plugging it, okay, plug and play it. So, uh, the vinyl viewer is supposed to be used with an eyepiece that should go inside here, okay, uh, and two eyepieces, of course, inside this hole and inside the white hole, too. Okay, this is a cap, the white uh, piece here, okay. So, um, uh, and I should be using it like this on the telescope, okay. So. Uh, I'm going to prove it to you. I have a Wi-Fi camera uh, to show uh, to show us what's going on on the telescope, and um, uh, yeah, and then here let's start. Okay, so um, I have uh, this eyepiece. Okay, this eyepiece. Okay. And it should go in the uh, just a second. I can fix the camera. Okay. So it should go like this inside the uh, bino. Okay, of course. And uh, I'm I'm expecting that when I plug and play it and see things uh, inside uh, sing, uh, inside an eyepiece because both eye pieces should give me the same view but you know it's a stage so this one just goes like this just to fix the view for you both eyes and uh, join them so uh, when I I'm expecting when I just plug and play it it uh, should work but it will not on a Newtonian telescope okay so here is my uh, Newtonian telescope I, we call it a Newtonian because it's a reflector telescope. Uh, uh, it's made by New, uh, the scientist, the well-known scientist, the famous scientist, Newton. Okay. And uh, and here, if I just look inside it, there's a mirror in the back, okay, which reflects, which uh, by which the light is collected through it and focused uh, in, on this uh, mirror here. There's a mirror over here. A normal mirror. The one in the back is a concave mirror, okay, so it can uh, uh, focus the light over here. And then the reflection from this mirror, okay, the small mirror here, will go to uh, through here, okay. So I'll be seeing things like this. And please remember this uh, uh, this uh, view now, okay, uh, because this is what we will be playing with, okay. Now. I'm expecting that when I just put it like this, okay, put the bino with the eyepiece like this to get, to give me a focused image, but it will not. So, I will start first with the uh, eyepiece alone, okay, then the bino, then I will put my magic after that, okay. So, what you see here is the, uh, uh, is the Wi-Fi camera, okay? And here, of course, my iPad, okay? I will be seeing things through the iPad, okay? So, I should use this ring, okay, to, fa to put, put it inside, okay? This ring is used to fasten the eyepiece, so I'll go and take eyepiece off the bino. Okay, and then I'll be putting the eyepiece like this. Okay, of course, 
just for suitability okay and just to make it like this it does not fall so this is the eyepiece if I just try to pull it a little bit okay it should not fall okay so uh, and it's good for you if you try to make it like uh, normal with the ground okay so it can uh, give you a, a coaxial uh, image okay now this is what I have now. okay this is what I'm going to put on the telescope over here okay so So this is the telescope. I'm going to install the camera like this. And I'm going to use it turning on the camera. Let me show you how it works. I'll just uh, turn on a button. I will tell you something. So this is when I turn it on. It will give me a green light that it turned on. But when I get the blue light, this means the Wi-Fi uh, access point inside the camera. Okay, because the camera now is an access point plus a camera. I can connect to it uh, using my iPad. I will connect the iPad to the camera. Now the, the Wi-Fi is turned on. Now I can go to the, to the iPad. Okay. And go to the settings in my iPad. By the way, the software uh, of the camera runs on uh, iPad, iPhone, and Android and Windows. No uh, Linux nor Mac uh, uh, versions of the app. Okay, so I go like this, and I go to uh, the, not the telescope camera. Sorry, awesome. Just a second, let me see the Wi-Fi camera. Now it showed up. Cool, we see it live. Now I connect to it. The password is from one to eight by default. Okay, put the numbers just sequentially from 1 to 8. Now I go like this and I go to the app. It's called UCCAM. Okay, UCCAM Plus. Uh, on Android there's UCCAM Plus and there's also uh, Copa uh, Vision. Okay, there's a software called Copa. And on the uh, Windows it's called Copa 2. Okay, I prefer to use the Copa. So, but on I, uh, iPad I have to use the uh, UCAM. Okay, so I open it like this. Okay, and we can see the uh, image okay, of the sea, like that's there in the far. Okay, and this is the camera giving me the correct view. Now I have to move to the side of the telescope and fix a little bit the view so I can get rid of those black shadows. Okay, so I'm moving the uh, rotating the knob. Okay, and as I rotate the knob, the shadow will go. Okay. Now this is a clean image. Cool. Now, now what I have is just for a reminder is uh, uh, this eyepiece alone. Now I'm going to install the eyepiece with the bino. Okay. Let me set. Okay, then I will go to the telescope. Okay, now the camera is still running. See if I move the bino with the telescope. Now because it's now it's not on the telescope because that's why you won't be seeing anything important but I have to put the telescope here okay Anyway, so now I have the uh, bino with the eyepiece and the camera. You know, I know it's a big weight on the telescope, but we have to. Okay, now I'm gonna take leave it as such. 
okay, a little bit loose. But if you can see, if I uh, try to fix the focus using this and here, you won't be seeing uh, the image that you would be expecting. Okay, you, you are trying. Okay, here I try my best to focus it. Okay, and this is the sea. Okay, the blue shades are the sea. Okay, even if I try to move the uh, camera knob and rotate the camera knob, uh, it won't be giving me anything. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, remove the uh, bino. Okay, just give me a second. Now I'll be adding my own magic. Okay, this is where the magic comes in. Okay, this is the magic. It's the angel eyes. First of all, it's the angel eyes. Okay, but it's not actually the angel eyes. But I prefer that you use this one. And this has also not just only uh, an image rectifier. Which, for example, if you have uh, on the eyepiece, you would be seeing things like this. But this will invert it. Okay. Like this, so you can see it correctly. So uh, this also has a two times barrel lens. Okay. So when I put it, go back to my telescope. Okay. And the camera is still on. Okay. So here I go back to my telescope. I install it. And um, now, okay, we can see that the image is not focused. But when I just rotate the knob of the uh, focusing on the telescope, the okay, you can see that the image is now corrected. Okay, and I can see the C. Okay, at least so this is the C. At least I can get a clear image. That's the purpose of all the video. So a clean image. So this is the C. Okay, and if I just a little bit just to give you that this is the C. So and with some erection, the image has been inverted too. Okay. And the setup is now too heavy. That's why the image is like going down. Okay. So this is back again the image, and I can see things which are. Understood. Okay. Now, let me show you the reason. Okay, why it did why it did work. Okay, let me move only the vinyl from the. So I move now the vinyl. See from the rectifier. Okay, and this is the rectifier. Now, first of all, I have to remove the rectifier to show you and remember that this is the image before. Uh, focusing it and getting a normal uh, image. Okay, now if I put this, okay, and see here in the back that the image of the telescope from the mirror it went backwards. Okay, goes backwards. Okay, backwards. So uh, that's why this shift in the image, okay, gave me a more range or more space just to rotate this knob to fix the. Uh, uh, position of uh, the focusing okay using the uh, eyepieces okay so so now as another uh, tip okay now I moved the eyepiece uh, of the rectifier okay now this one will rectify but if I don't want to rectify okay 
with a double barlow, okay, I can use this too. Okay, and this is a two times barlow lens. Okay. And this does not rectify. This comes with the case of the uh, uh, of the uh, accessories case, the aluminum accessories case, or from the Celestron. Okay, so um, I'm going to install it. Okay, let me first before installing it show you that it also makes the image go backwards. Okay, but with a little bit uh, of difference. Okay, I mean it's not as deep as the rectifier. So see, it's not as deep as the rectifier. The, the rectifier's image went deeper than this, yeah, or than that, okay? So I'm going back to this. Okay. okay, now, after fastening the whole setup, see now, it's the whole, the whole setup. Camera, uh, eyepiece, uh, bino, and then I have the barlow. Okay, then I'm going to go to the telescope and install it now. And I will open the iPad and we will see the results. Okay, that's the reason behind all of this is you have to use something that will shift the edge for me. Okay. So now, as I said, this is our current setup. Okay, here. Okay, now because of this, this is the iPad and the camera is still on. Okay, now if I move the focuser and the shaft, now I can get a cleaner image. See? So, also just for you to understand, remember in the rectifier, the C was uh, out of the sky. And uh, it was different, okay? The sky was going in the rectifier like this, but with the barlow, the normal barlow, it will keep it inverted, okay? So that's the reason behind the, uh, the usage of the barlow to fix or to allow to use the bind of viewer. So you must use the uh, barlow, okay? I'm not sure, this is a question that I will, uh, I, I will ask to many people, if uh, we use uh, something like a, uh, focus, a focal reducer okay, to also make a shift in the image and make it uh, not, uh, or in a way that it will not make the uh, eyepiece lose its current, uh, its current power. Okay, because I don't want to, for example, uh, go like this one makes it uh, twice. Okay, it makes the image uh, twice uh, in power. So this means like 24 should be something like uh, 12 millimeters. Okay. So I don't want to do that. Maybe the focal reducer will make it uh, nearer to 24 rather than going to uh, 12. Okay. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video, okay, and uh, please subscribe, okay, thank you for watching.